lesser male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yo, I told you, I told you, I told you. I called it again. Sometimes I, I can't believe how intelligent I am. So. Mm, this was just, so, just mentioned this during last week's episode. Last week's episode, we were talking to my man Jace, the, the scientific pickup artist, uh, whatever we were talking about. And we were talking about the whole Pete Davidson thing. And I said, back then, I, my prediction was that I don't think that the relationship is going to last. And he asked me why. And I said, oh, it's the, the brand. He had a brand of Kim. He, he, instead of, instead oh, of not tattooing. The, not, the, not the Kim Kardashian brand. You mean the literal brand that he got on him. Like right. he branded he, himself. He branded himself. With her initials. With her initials. Right, which would fire. And he got I mean, a tattoo of her. Uh, of same the, uh, brand, kids. I have my yeah. fraternity brand, whatever. But it's heat applied to the skin, burning the flesh, burning the skin. Plus, I think he had the kids too, or something. He had, he had a tattoo of the kids, I believe. Something with the kids, yeah. Right. So, and I think the whole point of him doing this was because he had tattoos before. And so this was a gesture again of him basically saying, you are so fantastic that not only am I going to tattoo you, um, which now, you know, with tattoos and, and laser tattoo removal, you can get it removed. I'm going to brand myself so that it's indelible, right? And so that that was the telltale thing for me. It's like, first of all, if my word is my word, if I give you my word and I keep my word, then why do I need to prove to you that my word means something if I should be able to say, I give you my word and that should be enough. If you don't think that my word is enough, then there's something wrong with you because I haven't changed who I am simply because, because you think so. My, the respect that I have for myself is beyond reproach. And the way it's beyond reproach is because I practiced that in my life. And so somebody getting a brand in a way is a way in which Pete Davidson was trying to prove to Kim that he was telling the truth. Now, as if she questioned him. Now, this is interesting. You know, the uh, do you think that she... Ask for that. I don't even think no, that's a thing that no. she did. It's vol it's voluntar voluntarily that he No, does. I don't think she would have ever said, I don't think any woman would have said, I need you to I mean, that's not true. Because I've had girls ask me, You're gonna get a tattoo. I'm getting a tattoo of me, you on mama. And I'm I go, No, the fuck, you can get a tattoo. I mean, I got about four or five girls who have my name on their ass or whatever, but I didn't ask them to do it. And I I didn't, in fact, I told them not to do it. So think about the mindset of that. The mindset of that is that I'm going to prove to you that I'm more special than everybody else. Now, I'm not going to prove to you in the way I care about you, the way that I teach you, the way that I'm there for you, the way that I'm considerate and my intentfulness is to build intimate love and concern I'm going to, uh, it's going to be this grand gesture that I'm going to sear my flesh to prove to you that I love you. First of all, it's corny because me saying I love you should be enough. Yeah. Uh, second of all, when you, what are you, what are you, by doing that, what are you communicating to this woman? You're communicating weakness and a lack of value. Because what you're saying is, yeah, yeah, you you say you believe me when you when when you when I tell you you love I love you and you tell me you love me and that and you believe me, but that's not enough. That's not enough because deep down I'm so empty. I don't really believe that some that I am worthy of your love and your consideration. So I need this grand gesture where I sear my flesh with a hot iron to prove to you that I mean so. And and Kim would be like, I don't know. I mean, I believe you. You don't have to do this, right? But what it does is it says, if I'm telling you that the gestures, just you being here with me, you loving me, us fucking, us spending time together, us talking on the phone, 
if you tell me that's enough and that's not enough for you, what you're saying is deep down, I don't believe I'm worthy of this relationship. Mm. And once she says, you know, if you're communicating that in terms of the subtext, that you don't believe that you're worthy of the relationship, who knows what your value is better than you? So what you're saying is, I'm not worthy of your love. I'm not worthy of your of your your trust and your concern. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create this grand physical gesture so that you can believe me because deep down I don't think I'm worthy of this relationship again. And it's only you're only gonna say that to a woman too many times until she believes you. So eventually she goes, All right, "You're right. You're not worthy of me." Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm never a fan of getting the tats of anybody on on your body. I think it's it's very I don't know. It, I, it, the irony is, I think people who make that decision are usually not there for the long term. There's usually something with you that's a little bit off. But the, the but interesting, I, yeah, I think it's interesting. You're talking about the tats as if the tats is the point. No, the it's not the point at all. It's a symbol of what it is. My, my point is that it's a symbol of it's it's meant to be a symbol of something. And it's a symbol of me trying to prove to you right, that I'm, I, mean. I, I love you and you don't believe me. So I'm going to do this to prove to you. When yeah. my words should be enough. I, I, here's the thing. If I if I told it, if I tell a dude next time I see you, I'm going to punch you in your mouth. Anybody that knows me knows that that dude is getting punched in the mouth. Why? Because my words carry gravity. The gravity of my words come because behind my words is action. So the, the, the tattoo or the brand or whatever is a gesture, but it comes from a place of insecurity that I don't feel as though I'm worthy of your time or your energy or your love, and I'm going to prove it. When the girl is not even going, you go, you know, Pete probably said, I love you, Kim. And she said, I love you too, Pete. And somehow that's not enough mm. because deep down he's going, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this woman. And then my favorite part about this, uh, not, I'm not happy that anyone breaks up, whatever, but the funny part about this is then Kanye supposedly celebrating, <laughs> like, which is just proves how much a cornball he still is. He's an even bigger corn. He's a fucking douche. And he won't get it. You know what? I don't even think he's going to get her back because of that. No, he's not. He's not. I, I mean, I'm looking up the post that he that he uh, Kanye West. Oh, yeah. Oh, Skeet Davidson dead at the age of 28. New York Times cover like a fake New York Times cover. It's just childish. Like, it's he's sad. A clown. Yeah, he's a fucking clown. So he's another one that just scoops in and just acts like a fucking just every hey, opportunity. He's a, bi he's a bigger clown. It's like. Yo, stick to music, dog, because you're you're a fucking clown. You're a fucking clown. Because you didn't think you would. You don't. You you know all the time when you're talking about he a guy like him. So I'm a I'm a genius of a nation. I'm a, yeah. You don't even believe that. Stop saying it. When I've never seen Michael Jordan say I'm the goat. Everybody yeah. else says it, but he don't say it. You he know? wants to be it. He works at it, but he need a, you don't say it about yourself. You know what? I don't even think he was trying to be the GOAT. He just was like, I want to be the best I can be. This is a personal thing, personal goal. So, but this is what happens. And this is something that people should understand in relationships all the time. If you don't think you're worthy of the love, the respect that you're going for, trust me, if you keep acting like you don't deserve it, eventually the woman that you're with will believe you. Mm. So as much I as I... You know, it's just basic principles. Me in your life is enough. I don't have to sear my skin to to prove it to you. And if I do, I need to get out because this is somebody who doesn't even trust my word in the first place. How do you feel about all this with because, uh, I mean, you're the guy who is who taught him a little bit of what he knows there. Maybe all of what he knows with, with women. I mean, you're the one who helped him lose his virginity and, and whatnot. How do you feel with all this? As that guy, as his guru, so to speak. Well, this is this is had lot him to, on the show. Right. This, well, this is a lot to do with the fact that's why you don't you got to continue the work. This is why you got to keep doing it. You still got to fuck with me. Yeah. Like everybody that I help that doesn't, you know, doesn't look back and say, give me the credit. 
you all, all I mean, you know this, Harry. We could we could rattle off 20 names of guys who are back in the and, same and, situation. And we do on the Patreon. And By we the do. way, <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna hear the names, just go to patreon.com slash manschool202 because we do name names. They're all getting the business in the end. They all get the business in the end, and it's uh, not karma because we don't believe in karma. We do believe in probability, and not necessarily. I mean, Pete is yeah, whatever. But um, the other people that, are more, dude, and I mean, yeah. he still do. But but the, the I like what, Pete. He's been he nice got, to me every time I've he seen got him, into but. this situation by being honest, right? Being honest, and he's getting out of this by being honest. He was honest about the fact that he didn't think he didn't think that he was worthy of this relationship and eventually Kim was like oh maybe you're right you know maybe uh but you know that it's just it's just I like the idea I've seen the post that are like uh you know USA Today or not you people us mm -hmm. weekly or something will be like well the you know the breakup between Kim and Pete click here for the shocking detail like mm -hmm. what's so shocking about it mm -hmm. what's so shocking she's they been married up. she's been married three times this is his second engagement in what three years yeah. Where's the shock? Oh, he was engaged. To her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that they had gotten engaged. I believe yeah. so. Yeah. They had gotten engaged. Uh, Here's now what I, I want to fact check so I don't look like an idiot. But Pete, I thought they hit did. me up, bro. I know you're probably hurting. I've said this with the Ariana Grande. Hit me up because you, you really need you really need somebody to mentor you as much as you. You know, the reason why the other reason why he does so well in this uh in in with all these high level chicks is because they're even more insecure than anybody else. They live in this fragile life where uh the fragile kind of plastic life where the where what your looks and who you are is based on the validation of other people. And that's why they're so susceptible to him who's a regular dude who, you know, everybody, you know, I would talk about this before. The reason why he got got her is because he was like, you want to go for ice cream? Just such a natural and a kind of honest thing. I'm a goofy kid who likes ice cream. You want to go with me? And she goes, oh, that's so cute and adorable. Yeah, just be cute and adorable. But you got to feel like you're worthy of that. Yeah. And her money, her ass, her looks, the prestige, none of that makes her a good person. And I'm not saying she's not a good person. But said, that but doesn't that equal a good person. We put a high value on that in this country, especially yeah. of of what you have and how much you have. And that is what the status of you are as a human being. But that is the least important part of being a good human being. And then when you, if somebody gets her and just don't give a fuck about the fact that she's Kim, that's the dude who will, who will have her forever. All right. Well, there we go. Hit me up, Pete. I'm here for you. I always have been. Peace.